in this video i explain comparison between natural draft and mechanical draft cooling tower so first difference you can understand from this diagram that is the size and shape okay so in a natural draft means this image is for the natural draft cooling tower this image is for the mechanical draft cooling towers so shape of the natural draft cooling tower is the hyperbolic and the shape of the mechanical draft cooling tower is the rectangular shape box type okay second difference is that in a natural draft we are not use any fan in mechanical draft we use the fan okay so here we put the fan at the top so it is called induced draft suppose we put the fan here then it is the force draft so first point is the size and shape so shape we already discussed so what is the size so in a natural draft cooling tower it may be 125 meter height and 100 meter in a diameter okay, so height is 125 meter its diameter is 100 meter and has hyperbolic shape in mechanical draft cooling tower the height is 15 meter and several meters in a land and having a rectangular box shape second difference initial cost so initial cost of the natural draft cooling tower is higher almost twice that of the mechanical draft towers so here you see that is a height is more in a natural draft okay so height is more means we are required the more cost during its constructions in a mechanical draft the cost is low means initial cost is lower compared to the natural draft cooling tower third cost is the operating cost operating cost means the cost required to operate the any system so in a natural draft cooling tower operating cost is less as a fans are not used okay so we are not use any fan okay just we required the one pump to circulate the water coming from the condenser so operating cost is less in mechanical draft cooling tower higher to operating cost because power is required to run the fan so in a mechanical draft cooling tower either it may be in induced draft or a force draft we use the fan and for run the fan we need to supply some electricity so its operating cost is high fourth difference is the maintenance cost so maintenance cost in a natural draft cooling tower is less due to less number of mechanical equipment and possibility of failure is less okay so maintenance cost is less in a natural draft cooling towers and in mechanical draft cooling tower the maintenance cost is higher due to the maintenance of fans motors and gears and possibility of failure is more now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of the mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provide in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist of my channel next difference is site suitability means at which location we can use the natural draft or a mechanical draft cooling tower so natural draft cooling tower is suitable or a prefer near coastal areas where humidity is generally high means we can use the natural draft cooling tower at such a location which have higher humidity and mechanical uh, mechanical draft cooling tower is used anywhere except force draft cooling tower should not be used in a cold weather due to formation of ice on a blades so mechanical draft it have a two types induced and force type we can use the induced draft at anywhere but we are not able to use the force draft in a such a places where the atmosphere temperature are low means atmosphere conditions are the cold weather in a cold weather in a force draft fan that is a formation of ice is carried out on the blade of the fan next is the life so life of the natural draft cooling tower is more compared to the mechanical draft cooling towers and the life of mechanical draft cooling tower is comparatively less water loss in a natural draft cooling tower water loss is less and in a mechanical draft cooling tower the more water loss is there as fan create more pressure difference across the tower so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video 
and don't forget to share with your friends